Hello Cowboys Nation, welcome to another video and without further ado, let's get to another round of news from America's team. Dalvin Cook, definitely moving forward, per Cowboys HC Mike McCarthy. The Dallas Cowboys running backs have been the worst in the NFL through September, leading to calls from Cowboys Nation to give Dalvin Cook a promotion from the practice squad to the team's 53-man roster. Cook signed with the Cowboys before the regular season, but has yet to get an opportunity on game day. Despite the calls for Cooks to get his chance, the Cowboys brass has been hesitant. They have given a plethora of excuses for why he has not been elevated, but he is getting closer, according to head coach Mike McCarthy. McCarthy shared his thoughts on where Cook stands when appearing on 1053 The Fan. He took some reps yesterday in the team periods, so we're definitely moving him forward. But the other part of it, too, is I think Rico, Dowdle, and Ezekiel Elliott, they haven't been given a lot of opportunities too, so it isn't like they haven't done anything to warrant their opportunities decreasing right now, McCarthy said, per John Machota of The Athletic. It's a great place to be. It gives us excellent depth. That's a hell of a situation to be in. Elliott has seen his role drastically decrease since week one, while Dowdle has emerged into the lead back but has had underwhelming production. With the stingy Steelers' defense on the schedule for week five, the Cowboys could once again struggle to move the ball on the ground. If that is the case, the team must make a move. Whether that comes in week six against the Detroit Lions or after the teams by week, Dallas has to make a change and do anything to find a spark to help the offense as a whole. Three Cowboys Defensive Players Who Could Surprise the Steelers The core of the Dallas Cowboys defensive unit is badly injured heading into Week 5 against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They will be without Demarcus Lawrence, Darren Bland, and Sam Williams, and Micah Parsons and Kalen Carson are likely to be out. It's no secret the Cowboys are struggling on defense this season, and while they did improve against the Giants, it was still far from a perfect performance. Dallas' performance on the defensive side has put them in a hole, as they sit at 2-2 with some very tough matchups coming up. Pittsburgh, while they aren't thought of as a powerhouse, count as one of those tough teams. Beating the Steelers on the road is never easy, and with so many injuries and slumping players on defense, it is going to take a village to step up and take out the black and gold. With that in mind, let's take a look at the three Cowboys defensive players that must step up in Week 5. Marshawn Nealon's First Big Chance The Cowboys drafted defensive end Marshawn Nealon in the second round of the 2024 NFL Draft. That pick caused a stir among the fan base, as some saw defensive end as a lesser need than some other spots. While it's too early to call those upset about the pick wrong, it's hard to imagine who would be rushing the passer this week if Neeland were not picked. As a rookie, the expectations should not be too high, but he is going to have a massive opportunity to make a name for himself. Neeland will start on the edge, likely opposite of Chauncey Galston. It will be the first time in his young career that he has gotten a start, so there may be some questions about his stamina and preparedness for the moment. But the rookie is ready for this moment, and could make a big impact in Week 5. Jordan Lewis on Interception Watch In the eight-year career of Cowboys cornerback Jordan Lewis, he has only had one season without an interception. This week would be a great one for J. Lou to get on the board with. Steelers starting quarterback, Justin Fields, has only thrown one interception in the season so far. Throughout his career he's been turnover-prone, however, so one could argue he's due. Lewis could be the guy to make it happen, as the secondary is both banged up and struggling early on this season. The Cowboys' defensive backfield needs to make something special happen if they are going to win this game, and Lewis is prone to those big-moment interceptions. Motsi Smith on a hot streak If you weren't paying attention to last week's game, you may have missed Motsi Smith having, by far, the best game of his young NFL career. Now, there is one large looming question following that performance, can Smith keep it up? Fears of that performance being a mirage is valid, 
We've seen Smith struggle way more than we've seen him dominate, like he did against New York. Smith has to find a way to replicate his showing from last week as the Cowboys' defensive front reels from a lack of depth and a slew of injuries. Perhaps if Smith puts up another big showing in Week 5, some of those bust concerns will go out the window, and he can build some confidence going forward in the season. It's a huge week to see which direction his year, and even his career, will go. Trayvon Diggs' injury update extremely alarming for Dallas ahead of Week 5. The Dallas Cowboys are already in trouble when it comes to depth after a vicious strike from the injury bug, and things are only getting worse. On Thursday, the team's other all-pro cornerback Trayvon Diggs left practice with an ankle injury and landed on the injury report. Diggs also briefly left the Week 4 win over the New York Giants with a leg injury before returning to the game. On Friday, Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy provided an injury update on Diggs, and it was extremely alarming for Cowboys Nation. The team is being smart with Diggs, but McCarthy stopped short of discussing his status for the game. Just being smart with Trayvon. I feel pretty good about where he is. Everything points to him probably going Sunday night. That's not what you want to hear especially with Darren Bland out of action and Carson potentially missing the game. Dallas already has depth issues at defensive back, and missing digs would deliver a devastating blow to the secondary for their showdown against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Cross your fingers and hope for the best, but for now, things are looking dicey.